What makes us laugh? Do we as a universal audience still laugh the same at cinema and its self-reflective practices? Laughter in the past was generated through the carnival, a site where everything is permitted. Robinson 2011. Carnival is a genre in the cinema that is excessive, grotesque, yet engages with those opposed by homogeny. Carnival laughter was a serious way of understanding the world. Bishop 1990, and arguably still is, laughter is confession of the body, Kerner Cat 2016, that generates a sense of joy within the subject. In Carnival, laughter is used to dispel cosmic fear, Latchman 1988. Famous theorists back can discuss the Carnival, highlighting four key areas, the familiar, the eccentric, the blending, and finally profanication. With all these elements combined, the Carnival was created and began to parody cinematic realities. Taking these four elements and recent Carnival films, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Dolomite is my name, this essay will discuss how Carnival still exists in cinema. The familiar replaces the versal hierarchy of official culture, Latchman 1988. The familiar takes commonalities and recognizabilities and places them in the carnival world. Mel Brooks does this in Silent Movie, where he takes stars in the Hollywood sphere into his carnival world. Nowadays, there's still a reliance on stars or celebrities to bring in the familiar. Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tells the story of Rick Dalton, a falling star in the late 60s Hollywood, and his stuntman, Cliff Booth. Rick is played by Leonardo DiCaprio, while Booth is portrayed by Brad Pitt. Tarantino's leading men encapsulate this official culture, as the film is then electrified by the fact it's being played out by two of Hollywood's greatest stars, Locra, 2019. DiCaprio and Pitt create a spectacle by acting alongside each other. Rick is emotionally charged due to his demise, while Booth is a strong, macho man, unbothered by his fall. Tarantino brings the familiar through the celebrities as well as his own credibilities. However, he replaces the culture through DiCaprio's more emotional portrayal. Rick's character reflects the film, which departs from Tarantino's normal action-packed style into something motivated by affection, Zacharach 2019. The eccentric is both about his or her's identity and bringing forth the repressed, Latchman 1988. This translates to those repressed being exaggerated into stereotypes to bring attention to them. Tarantino's eccentric comes from figures of historical repression, Sharon Tate and Bruce Lee. Tate's eccentric is not stereotype per se, but does rely on her remembrance. Tate is remembered fondly, and the film is above all a valentine to her, Zacharat 2019. While Lee is remembered more stereotypically, it can be suggested that unnatural performance styles for non-white actors establish white American characters, Pullen 2014. Tarantino presents Lee as the warrior Asian other, compared to Booth. Carnival tends to confront stereotypes by mocking it. Tarantino attempts to mock, however, does present Booth as the stable white American. Eccentric is to bring attention to those opposed. Tate is brought out through the homage made to her in both the diegesis of the film and Robbie betraying her, while Lee is established through his stereotype. Nowadays, we are more aware of those repressed by cinema. Eccentric, therefore, comes from an awareness of our context. We laugh less nowadays at archetypes if they're not sincere. Blending is everything with everything else, Latchman 1988. Blending takes two juxtaposing forces and mixes them into one. Dolomite is My Name depicts Rudy Ray Moore, a struggling middle-aged comic, making it big with his character Dolomite, an outrageous archetype, Scott 2019. The film is a biopic, a common genre used to present carnival in contemporary cinema. However, Brewster blends both the archetypal Dolomite character with the likeable, big-hearted performance of Murphy, Bradshaw 2019. However, the biggest contradiction in the film exists in its production. The narrative is centred around a repressed underdog. However, Brewster's film was distributed by Netflix, one of the biggest capitalist sites in the film industry. Carnival was once said to resist to the ideology of capitalism, Karimova, 2010. However, in our contemporary, it seems impossible not to conform to capitalism, especially in the dominance of home media. Blending in the contemporary carnival is still everything goes with everything. However, there is a bigger reliance on conforming to capitalism, especially with the rise of home media and YouTube being seen as modern mass carnival, Kernet Knapp, 2016. Profanication is the profound, the realm of blasphemous, paradistic, and the obscene. Latchman, 1988, it is the grotesque, the taboo, and everything in between. Brewster presents this through Murphy and his transformation from PG-friendly to R-rated. The film regarded Murphy as well and truly back. Kemp, 2019. The film takes a beloved comedian and strips him, literally, into another massive icon for black culture. However, it is Snipes that offers us a performance most profound. Snipes plays DeVille Martin, a black actor in the era. Snipes is known for his macho persona, such as Blade. Therefore, his camp style of acting is both shocking and parodies Martin. From nudity to blasphemy, Dolomite Is My Name uses all elements of profanication to its advantage. From Murphy dropping the F-bomb to the campness of Snipes' performance, Brewster encapsulates the already profound nature of Dolomite and furthers it through challenging the status quo of the actors. 
Once Upon a Time in Hollywood conforms to Carnival through its use of the fictional world as well as the real Hollywood. Tarantino uses the Carnival to poke fun at his own anxieties around aging in Hollywood. While Dolomite Is My Name reflects an oppressive yet dominant time within black culture and breathes new life into the comic Rudy Ray Moore. Using Murphy and his comeback, the film uses the Carnival to laugh at Dolomite, but to be sincere. Carnival thus nowadays relies on a sense of sincere towards its subject matter. Carnival exists in cinema as a tool for nostalgia and laughter. Why do we laugh? To displace our fears and reflect together.